Israel is at war after large-scale surprise attacks by Palestinian insurgents against Israeli military and civilian sites early on Saturday from the blockaded Gaza Strip. Both sides have suffered from hundreds of fatalities, while the number of Israelis held captive is unknown. Even while a number of nations, ranging from the United States to Israel's Arab neighbors, are pleading with the combatants not to escalate the situation any further, a new day is already dawning in Gaza and Israel and it promises more violence. However, the leaders of both sides assert that they are at war now and that it will not end soon. Over 1,000 Israelis were injured during the first day of attacks and combat, and at least 250 Israelis perished. According to health officials in Gaza, there were approximately 2,000 injured Palestinians and over 230 fatalities. The acts of violence have included everything from close quarters ground warfare to airstrikes and rocket attacks. What Israel may do in reaction to what it sees as an invasion and if open warfare could thwart American efforts to improve relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia are among the questions that are currently being asked. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared on late-night television that Israel will reach into every place Hamas is hiding and demolish those places. The Israeli military is mobilizing reserve personnel, fortifying its fortifications, and carrying out attacks on Gaza-based targets. In 2007, the Islamist terrorist organization Hamas seized power in Gaza. Anyone in the Gaza Strip who is in an area where Hamas controls should leave those places now, Netanyahu said. He continued, Israel will settle the score with anyone who harms them. It is more difficult for the two million Palestinians who reside in Gaza to leave regions that are affiliated with Hamas. Israel and Egypt have been enforcing a siege on the Gaza Strip for more than 16 years, which limits the flow of people and products into and out of the region. According to the Associated Press, a 14-story structure in central Gaza City that contained both apartments and Hamas headquarters was completely destroyed by Israeli bombs on Saturday night. According to the agency, Israel warned of the airstrike, and there were no reported injuries.